He stated there that the special counsel concluded he did not violate the law. That is not remotely what the Biden Justice Department concluded. Let me read you the beginning of the report, the executive summary. It begins with, quote, We conclude that no criminal charges are warranted in this matter. We would reach the same conclusion even if Department of Justice policy did not foreclose criminal charges against a sitting president. Our investigation uncovered evidence that President Biden willfully retained and disclosed classified materials after his vice presidency when he was a private citizen. Now, note, he said in that interview, I did not disclose them. Well, in the second paragraph of the report, it says our investigation uncovered evidence that President Biden willfully retained and disclosed classified materials after his vice presidency when he was a private citizen. These materials included, I'm still reading from the report, these materials included, one, marked classified documents about military and foreign policy in Afghanistan, and two, notebooks containing Mr. Biden's handwritten entries about issues of national security and foreign policy implicating sensitive intelligence sources and methods. By the way, sources and methods, what that means is this was sensitive enough that disclosing this could endanger the lives of covert operatives, that when you're disclosing sources and methods, it it means you can reveal the identity of a spy, or it means you can reveal that, say, we have somebody's phone tap or the ability to engage in surveillance. And so if you're revealing sources and methods, that's a big damn deal. Let Let me finish reading. FBI agents recovered these materials from the garage, offices, and basement den in Mr. Biden's Wilmington, Delaware home. However, for the reasons summarized below, we conclude that the evidence does not establish Mr. Biden's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Prosecution of Mr. Biden is also unwarranted based on our consideration of the aggravating and mitigating factors set forth in the Department of Justice's principles of federal prosecution. For these reasons, we decline prosecution of Mr. Biden. Now, what are the reasons they say don't prosecute him? That one of the key reasons they rely on front and center is they say he's too damn old and can't remember anything. And so therefore you could not prosecute him. But I'm, I'm going to read from just a couple of pages later. This is again from the report. Mr. Biden wrote his 2007 and 2017 memoirs with the help of a ghostwriter in a recorded conversation with his ghostwriter in February 2017, about a month after he left office. Mr. Biden said while referencing his 2009 Thanksgiving memo that he he had, quote, just found all the classified stuff downstairs. So. He expressed an awareness that it was classified materials. And by the way, they have this because they have the tape. So he's literally on tape admitting it and. It continues in the next paragraph. Evidence supports the inference that when Mr. Biden said in 2017 that he had, quote, just found all the classified stuff downstairs in Virginia, he was referring to the same marked classified documents about Afghanistan that FBI agents found in in 2022 in his Delaware garage. Now, notice they say marked classified documents. He said, well, gosh, I didn't know it was classified. If it's marked, it has it stamped right on it. And but they go on. To say, nonetheless, we do not believe this evidence is sufficient as jurors would likely found reasonable doubt for one of several reasons. And they go on to say, several defenses are likely to create reasonable doubt. For example, Mr. Biden could have found the classified Afghanistan documents at his Virginia home in 2017 and then forgotten about them soon after. So he's just so old and senile that he's like, oh, classified documents. What? What? I'm sorry. What was I talking about? I mean, that's reason number one while they don't prosecute him. Um, they go on to say uh, another viable defense. Another viable defense is that Mr. Biden might not have retained the classified Afghanistan documents in his Virginia home at all. They might have been stored with, by mistake and without his knowledge. But then they say, given Mr. Biden's limited precision and recall during his interviews with his ghostwriter, and with our office, so notice the ghostwriters back in 2017, and with our offices this past year, jurors may hesitate to place too much evidentiary weight 
on a single eight-word utterance to his ghostwriter about finding classified documents in Virginia in the absence of other more direct evidence. And they go on to say, we have also considered that at trial, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury as he did during our interview of him as a sympathetic, well-meaning, elderly man with a poor memory. Based on our direct interactions with and observations of him, he is someone for whom many jurors will want to identify reasonable doubt. It would be difficult to convince a jury that they could convict him, by then a former president well into his 80s, of a serious felony that requires a mental state of willfulness. Now stop and think. This is the Department of Justice saying you couldn't convince a jury he is capable of a mental state of willfulness. That's a big damn deal.